Joffrey of Rivith had travelled much of the world. He'd seen the mighty domes in Pentos, and the Colossus which stood over Bravos, like the Great Protector, his sword held high above his head, proud and mighty. By the time he'd landed back in the Stormlands, he felt a changed man, a true man, in his age and his maturity. When he had left, his father had been a strong and proud man. Now he seemed a shell of his former self. Fattened, bags under his eyes, a pain within them. He still kept that jovial smile, but he could tell his father was not the same man. His wife no longer by his side, his blade sheathed and dull. Yet when he saw Joffrey, his eyes seemed to brighten and widen. He stood up, extending his arms and moving towards his son, hugging him tightly. My boy, he laughed. How I've missed you. Come, you must tell me of your adventures. I have read much of your letters. I could scarcely believe it true. <laughs> Joffrey laughed, surprised to hear the joy in his father's tone. Well, I'd admit it to a different world out there, Joffrey noted. I fought in some melees, I ate the finest spices and enjoyed exotic meals. It was truly an adventure. I saw the highest in society, and the lowest. In the same city, no less. Do you know why I sent you out there? Giles asked, his voice still as strong as when he was a younger man, booming through the room. Joffrey shook his head but remained silent. I sent you out there as I believed it would show you the levels of society, of life. I sent you out there for you to learn of love, to learn of true combat. If I keep you cooped up here, you'll be nothing more than the entitled son of a lord. The truth is, you'll need to learn to fend for yourself. I learned that well, father. I promise. You see, I worry for young Arlen, Giles sighed. His mother has now left the castle, and I spend what time with him I can. But I see a loss within his eyes. He was always close to his mother, more so than with me. I wish he was closer with me. I'm sure if you spend time with him, he'll learn, Joffrey sighed. He's still a young boy. When I was his age, I spent most of my time with you. That's why I care for you, father. Guy was simply nodded. Something clearly on his mind. Some words about to leave his lips, but they never came. Instead, he just dismissed his son. Go, get yourself rested. We'll eat well tonight, my boy. A feast, for sure. He remembered that day well. The day his father had such life in him. The day he'd returned and begun to wonder what more had happened. What his father had hid from him. He thought of that even now as he sat by his father's bed. Each day his father seemed more sickly. He had once been fat, but now he was skin and bones, his sword long since rested. His horse passed on to his grandson. He seemed to still have life in him, but for how much longer? That was what worried Joffrey most. He held his father's hand, same as he had done every night. Arlen was out ruling Poddingfield, proving himself a leader. While Joffrey remained a son. A loyal son. He knew what that meant now. He had his own boys and girls, each of them growing into smart young children. His wife was a woman he'd always adored, a crush as a child, and now a loving and kind marriage in adulthood, the kind his father had always pined for but never received. How is your wife? Giles asked, a frailness in his voice. I, I heard the news that, that the boy was still born. I'm sorry, my son. It's all right, father, he sighed. Uh, she's... she's well, but she needs rest. That's why I'm keeping her here. The maidens are looking well after her, and the maester has made sure that she's refreshed and healthy. She looks rosy again, already. Uh, that's good to hear. <laughs> it's been so empty here for so long now. Your brother is in his castle, his mother back at her home. My knights now live in Thornton, for it has the better keep. The summer stables feel so lonely, so... empty. When you're a younger man, you dream of the future, of mighty conquests, battles with no end. I never had those dreams. 
I dreamed of death, of destruction. I dreamed of betrayal, which then came for me. Now all that's left to come is the destruction and the death I was promised. I wish were well, one day, for one day of my life, I could have dreamed of a bright future. I dream of one, Father. Joffrey smiled warmly. A bright future for us all. Gael seemed to go silent before he looked towards his bastard son. The one that had always been believed to be his badge of dishonour. And he smiled. Come here, son. I have something to tell you. He spoke as his son brought his ear close to Giles. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode three of the House of the Playthrough. This could be a very interesting one, uh, as Lord Giles is growing older and older, and with the sort of stress and the fat and everything that's happened to him, who knows how much longer Lord Giles has left in him, but I do know. What time he does have left, he's going to spend fighting for the Baratheons and fighting as a loyal soldier. Last session, his wife cheated on him and tried to kill him. One of his sons sadly passed away. And overall, he's had a tough, tough couple years. As such, he is sort of um, focused on the war more than anything else. And... Uh, while Sir Joffrey went off and saw the world, he does not currently have a title. But I'm hoping we may be able to change that by seizing Black Hat Haven to grant it to him and his house. A cadet branch of House Steed. Nonetheless, things are... Things are certainly not going well for him. He is a very sad man with everything that's happened. However, it's still a chance to prove himself and to... Give him a good end of life after everything that's happened to so far. And who knows, based on how long uh, some people are living this point, maybe we may actually last a while. <laughs> maybe we may see adulthood. Well, not adulthood, you see our, our elderly years. Yes, I'll happily be a high admiral on your council, Randy. For some reason, I'm, I'm currently just standing here in an army in Blackhaven, not doing anything. Which isn't too helpful here, Renly. <laughs> Uh, I don't need to threaten the noble. So Courtney has been a leal and able servant and has successfully completed many tasks in aid of Summerfield. Hmm. Uh. I'm not going to give him my daughter. That does remind me that Shira does need a marriage. And I was looking at Oris between the sessions. I think Oris is a perfect pick. He is a bastard, but he is a Baratheon bastard, and he's called the Bastard of the Red Keep, which is just an awesome name. And Shira needs a matrilineal marriage, and she is currently... If anything would happen to Arlen, it would be her who has to... Oh, he wishes to send me Robert. Is this his second born? Uh, it is his second son. You bastard. So, he, okay. He, he married in an interesting way, which... She is a bastard, but he's married her mother. <laughs> so I'm not sure... He's still born out of wedlock, so I think it is still a bastard. But, uh, you know, their mo mother and father is now married there. Which I can I can respect that he wished to, to marry in that way. Um, we will build some basic defences, I think. Still have 12,000... Men sieging down King's Landing here. Very interesting um, push. The storm that Ravi over here is just sieging indiscriminately. You wish to be? Go ahead. I'll allow it. You can go be a um, maester or train to be a maester, I suppose. 12,000 men with Renly's army up there. I don't know where Robert's army actually is. Where is Robert? Yeah, he's, he's sieging down the castles himself. Lord Tybalt of Craycall has usurped the title. Or usurped the title of Castle of Greenmount from Rain. Bloody hell. 
stole it from right underneath us. Alright, at least I think it did. Or was it the man who was in charge of the city of Peapod is the one who took it? No, sure, I'm not sure what that actually meant. <laughs> My son is apparently already a tyrant. What the hell is he doing? A son was born to Sir Joffrey named Ferro. And he's not before Theo, and Theo is not a bastard. So Joffrey has a actual son, and he... Rothhard, is that what Adora was? No, he he is taken up a new name, so he has taken up House of Rothhard as his name now. Interesting, so he has formed his own uh, cadet branch then. Yeah, he has. Ah! Things are finally turning around for Lord Giles. He's no longer letting the stresses of life hold him down. Even if his family is... A dick. Ah, <laughs> oh, job well done, my friend. And it looks like things are... This would be quite a war if, like, Robert was like, let's just abandon King's Landing to be sacked while we sack down the Iron Isles. I don't think many people would be much accepting of that. Where am I currently? Okay, I'm over here. Sieging down, um... What is this? This is... Far, far raw. Okay. Just sieging down everywhere. We have won a siege, yes. So Jared has died, so I need a new spy master. Uh, my daughter Shira will make a good spy master. Ooh! Is that a reach civil war, I see? My oh my. Wait, they are. So the he himself wait is he fighting the West March? Is that what I'm seeing? No, no, no. Oh, unless I mean the West March by that literal province there. He's a bit defending against Manf oh Manfred's host. So it's a host. There's an invasion coming. Okay, interesting. Great, levy reinforcement rate. Looks like we have defeated the Iron Isles, so they should be back under us. They are indeed. They are. Once more a dominion under Robert. Today my bastard son Sir Joffrey asked me for a title. Uh, you're still not ready. I'd love to give you Blackhaven, my boy. What, why are we at war again? What? So we're not getting involved in this war, but what is this war about? What? So he, he's taken the defeated the Iron Isles, killed all their men, taken control of them, and then the Iron Isles have gone, we're going to rebel. That's the most iron ass things I've ever heard. And during all of this, he's not once tried to move for the Reach. Probably because I think Robert... Yeah, he's getting old and his armies are getting a bit weak. Unfortunate for him. Although we're getting up there in age as well. We could be old anytime soon. Uh, we'll give you a focus on duty. Our age is only growing. We'll be an old man ourselves soon. As a reigning lord, I rarely have any test spine, but for my daughter Eleanor, I'd move heaven and earth. So he's just a family, he's just a kind man. That's what we've learned about Giles. I always imagined I would be the first of us to go, but now I am the one at the departure of my dear friend. Never again will I hear Mark's jolly laugh or receive his wise counsel. It is as if I have lost an essential part of myself and I feel so powerless. Uh, no, I, I want to stay friends with Stannis. I will just spend a drink at the tavern. When I'm joined by the table by a fellow intoxicated man. But it must be Oris. Ah, my stepson comes and drinks with me together. What a way to bond with the father. Or the, the father-in-law. Get piss-faced with him after his friend's funeral. Oh, let's level up the stables, yeah. We are the summer stables, after all. And there we go, we've become a wrinkly man now. <laughs> I imagine our health isn't great because we have uh, a few limiting traits there. I'll spend a little gold on that, yes. Am I... S so I'm not currently leading armies. I will continue to lead armies until I think like 55. I can't. I don't remember how old the Blackfish was when he would still be leading armies. Uh, Brendan Blackfish uh, during the time of the books. But he's certainly an older man. I think the show makes him older than he actually is in the books, though. I believe he's a bit younger. And we're, we've joined the war, apparently. 
Yes, I will take young Stefan as my ward. And I'll agree with you on the council. And I suppose I've... Although my, my personal combat skill is definitely going down here because of old age. I don't think I'd make the greatest commander, but which army am I commanding? This one here. Okay. So young Stefan is now in my court. The future king, it could be. Uh... Oh, here we go. Your ward, your ward offers his services as a squire. Yes. Robert would make a great squire. I'm pleased to hear that after a period of peace and shrewd management, the people of Thornton are doing very well. Lovely. Prosperity in Thornton is exactly what I wanted to hear. Stefan is rude to people in my court. I can either give him the trait rude, or he could get the trait rough. But he wouldn't like me. Sure, you can be rude. I mean, I was rude. I think I still am rude, am I? No, I'm, I'm, uh, I was just and I lost just. It's, it's ruthless is what I am, which is arguably worse. <laughs> As Lord Galadon Tarf seeks to fabricate evidence of Lord Sewin II's treason. Oh my. And we've upgraded our stables. King Robert has... Okay, so he's he's currently the Lord of Pike. I imagine he's going to give that title away. I don't can't imagine him keeping the Lordship of Pike. Although, who knows? But a second son for um, Joffrey Rothheart. Rothheart is kind of a cool name. And I do like how it does actually look like... he's. It's, it, to me, it seems almost as if he's basically just taken the horse and turned into a unicorn. Which is actually kind of like an awesome way of linking it to the steeds. I don't know if that's like a random chance thing or if that actually happens but I think it's very cool my son feels neglected not great I would have liked him to not feel neglected if possible the vassal Summerfield now view me with respect so I think you are basically the only main vassal I have but I do have obviously the uh, lords here a daughter was born to Sir Oris the Bastard Redkeep and Sharistead. Name we will name not after we will <laughs> Patrice. My wife and I will argue violently about the insignificant ma matters, but Lord Paramount Renley came to my rescue, and my marriage may be saved because of that. Is my wife gonna like me a little bit now? Okay, she doesn't want me like dead, dead, but she still probably she demands vengeance on me, so it's still probably not great. King Robert has declared King Robert's liberation of the Stepstones on Pirate King Paro the Wicked. But yes, not only has he not given away the uh, Pike, in fact he's kept Pike, he's now playing on a war of the Stepstones. Interesting uh, choice. And now Renly has been excommunicated. What has Renly done? I, um, is it his being a tyrant? He's an honourable man, but he's now depressed and excommunicated. House Baratheon is, is sort of gone a dark path here. <laughs> Stannis, is, Stannis is sending all of his children to me because he wants them to learn how to be just and honourable rather than his family. He's like, please, <laughs> my, my family needs to learn how to be uh, honourable and kind. The, the Baratheon name is going to go down as a, a name of fear if we don't do something about this. The Lord of the Storms have approved the institution of a slightly uh, levy focused burger law obligation. Okay. So we're slightly more. Get a bit more money, less the troops. Yeah, looks like it. Eleonora shall get good education as well. Uh, Lord Stefan and Eleonora. Is he your eldest? No, Willem is your eldest. He's your second. I, I'll accept that. And we'll give you a focus on dipl diplomacy. You wish to kill Lord Willem of the Stormlands. I mean, killing him would now make my child on in line for the throne. But I don't know why you want to kill him. Is he a bad man? No, he's honourable. I, I don't think I would back a plot to kill an honourable man. Even if it does give me like powerful gain. I just don't think it would be a path I would take. 
And now I'm being removed. Why am I being removed from the council? There's no way somebody is a better suit for the council than me. I still have 27 Marshall here. Can't imagine much better than me. Arlen's looking very good at his age as well. So the Reach has not Reach has somehow inherited land from the Iron Throne as well, and Rob has done nothing from it. Willis still the whole House Tyrells managed to make an independent Reach successful. And what's happening in Castamere? House Vickery have taken over Castamere. Uh, well, that's an interesting path that House Vickery would take here. So they've now taken over Castamere. I'm right, is House Vickery not a subhouse of the Reigns? No, they are they are just the Vickeries, okay. Nonetheless Roger Vickery. Interesting. Nonetheless, they have taken over huge lands in Castamere here. And they have a truce with Lord Adam. Okay, the, that lord up there. A very interesting situation in the Westerlands. So there's some pretty powerful um, duchies serving under him here. Lord Robert is very rude to people in my court. I mean, it's a Baratheon way apparently to be rude. I'm going to train him to be rude as well, who cares? <laughs> Robert now rules the Stepstones as well. And he's revoking titles in the Stepstones. A ward of mine complained and called my court inferior, at least in comparison to his to the child father's court. Um, content is a kind of a... Okay, he didn't get it. I would have thought content would be a, a thing that Stannis would want his children to have. And, well, I don't know if that's a sad sign that my bastard son named a child after me, and then it died stillborn. King Robert Ruffin has had pirate lords tags arrested, but failed to apprehend him. But then he came and is going to seek justice in person. Are we going to have any peace? No, I was about to say, are we going to have peace? And uh, no, we're at war with the Reach. A de jure war, so we must be going after this province here in Grackle. Uh, I guess let's raise raise the armies then. Is Renly not taking part in this war? Renly is not. Well, Renly, you're missing out because I hate the Reach, so I'm going to join this war. Absolutely. Uh, right, let's get Joffrey leading an army as well. Uh, let's try and unite with the Iron Throne armies. Prince Mormont Baratheon is going to rule the throne. Wait, did Stannis? Stannis was the heir until right before Robert died. Literally just before Robert dies, he has a son. That's in amazing. How on earth? So Stannis is still... Yeah, Stannis is still in charge of Dragonstone, but he's not the heir anymore. Is he your heir? He is your heir. So if Mormont doesn't have a child, then Stannis will take the throne. King of the Adults of Rider of the First Men. Long live the king. And now the armies of Royce are here? What's happening with the Royce? Oh, it's a peasant revolt, is it? No, it's not. Are the Royces just siding with the... No? No, okay, these are the peasant revolt. Revol it's just that it's also an army of Royce, apparently. I want to see if I can cut off this army before they reach any other reach armies. I don't think I'll be able to. Oh no, I did catch them. Victory! The Battle of Large Tree. Uh, we suffered 265 casualties of their 287. A mighty victory. Where are the armies of the Iron Throne? I can't actually see a single Iron Throne army here. He's 53 in his favour. So. Or rather, he has 55% contribution. Rather. He only has 4% in his favour. 
I do want to see if I can get rid of this army here. Help in the reach. Eleonora can marry... Is Eleonora... Okay, she's 14. There we go. Can marry there. And my grandson, Theo... Oh, get this trouble focus. Oh, winter has come upon us. Not good. That's a pretty tough modifier. What is... Oh my goodness! As we fight the Reach and struggle uh, against the Reach's massive forces, Aegon Targaryen invades. A young silver-haired man has landed in Westeros, claiming to be Aegon the, uh, the Sixth, trueborn son of Rhaegar Targaryen, a rightful king of the Seven Kingdoms. It's widely believed that he perished in the Red Keep at the hands of Gregor Cleghlain. Is perpetu- that was not Aegon who perished there, but a peasant baby. This is a mama's dragon. Nothing more. An agreement has been reached with Lord Brenly to see Lord Stefan Baran and Eleanor Steed wed. And now the dowry is due. Ugh. I will give a customary dowry. Goodness, 9,000 men. So not a huge army here for Aegon. But he's attacked at the right time because Robert's armies... Oh, sorry, not Robert. It's not Robert, is it? It's the Boy King. Who knows? Maybe some people may prefer Aegon to the Boy King. So the Boy King is obviously not going to be leading his own armies, and the High Septon is his regent. But he does have 52,000 men, I just don't know where the hell they are. Has Renly joined this war? Renly is still not a part of the war here. I wonder why. Okay, no, he is, but I guess he... He's just not listed as part of this. Let's see, so... It... He has a royal claim on the Reach and the claim on the Iron Throne. So he's trying to push for the whole Reach, is what he's pushing for in this war. Is to, not just for this one province, but he's trying to push to get all the Reach on this. Okay, oh, it's the glitch where I could attack their armies, but I wasn't actually part of the war. That's fine with me. Right, we are part of the war now. Let's stay with the Baratheon armies here. Oh, is that going to be a loss? No, that's a victory, a huge victory at Highgarden here. Let's join the siege on Highgarden. Oh, that's going to be a loss, though. And now I'm alone for here, so I'm going to get absolutely battered in that battle. Yes, ugh. This is the problem, the, the Iron Throne armies are just not united at all here. It looks like Aegon died without me even looking, which I think is probably pretty standard for Aegon. Yeah, he's in prison now. Aegon of Essos. So he's just House of Essos. He was never even considered Targaryen. But he was the leader of the Golden Company. Yeah, I've got no armies. We're going to return to Thornton. Okay, that is Stan so Stannis is leading an army, though. Let's see if we can move with Stannis. Where is Stannis going to march on, is a question. Is he, he's, he's, okay, he's joining with this army, which is a good decision. Okay, Theo is learning well. Very good. Who's missing in focus? Sunel can have... Diplomacy makes sense. And for her education, she'll, she'll get an okay education for sure. See, it looks like we are on our way to reclaiming the Reach here. Oh, they caught him in a huge battle there. Defenders of Grassy Vale successfully raided the camps. What just happened? Charisteed has returned to my court because her husband died. My son-in-law was killed in personal combat by Lord Emmon of the Golden Grove. What a shame. And for some reason, he was granted... He had the High Lordship of Pike? Well, that's something. Okay, well, we are in a bit of an awkward situation here where it appears it's crashed on the same day a couple of times. Uh, so sorry if there's a hard cut uh, to come to this date, uh, but we need to... Okay, the war, the war was successfully won at the very least, but we need to uh, keep our fingers crossed that the game doesn't crash. Because uh, otherwise we'll be in a little bit of a hard lock uh, situation here with this crash. Uh, but obviously, I'll, I'll try and find a way around it. There's a, there's usually a way around these sort of things. However, 
poor Shira has now lost her uh, husband and is going to need a new matrilineal partner. And Aaron of the Eerie seems a wonderful partner. He seems a bright young lad. Lower the speed a bit. So he's inheriting a lot of castles all at once. Uh, and I am being invited to attorney. Um, 65. Don't bother me about attorneys again. I'll take a bit of a prestige hit there. But I feel like he is he is no longer a man for attorneys at his age. Now my hope is that we can get a... Uh, this claim on Blackhaven. Fingers crossed there. But a claim on Blackhaven would be very uh, beneficial for us. Uh, so that we can get a title for our bastard son. He's in seclusion in his court. Makes sense because it looks like there is a death spreading here. A bit of a plague uh, is spreading across the, the lands here. Oh dear. We'll just hope that it doesn't spread to us, but most likely it will. Let's see, we'll keep building up a bit of money here. I could move Thornton to the capital, but I think Giles will keep his capital in the summer stables. Uh, if his sons want to move the capital, that will, that will be their choice. Uh, that will be Arlen's decision. So he is once more just a Lord Paramount under the Iron Throne. I mean, nothing wrong with that. It's just, uh, you know, a title we'll have to accept and live with for now. So a lot of work done by our Lord Monford uh, for only being two years old. <laughs> Took the throne around the same age as uh, Henry VI, but we'll have to hope that uh, Lord Monford has a... Uh, Fingers crossed a better reign than Henry the Sick, because otherwise uh, the Iron Throne is going to be in a couple of wars. We'll put it that way. Let's see. What are my others? Oh, I need them. That's why they're not doing anything. So Shira's a spy master can keep doing nothing. I want to train some troops in Thornton. And fingers crossed that Harris will do his job and get us this damn clay. Is Renly... He's still excommunicated, so Renly... It's probably... They learned that, uh... Despite all these chin these children, Renly still has a certain preference or two. Is probably what, uh... Has caused this excommunication. A group of hedge knights has come to visit. Uh... Yes, I will host a feast for these hedge knights. I mean, I was a hedge knight myself. Why not? Today my bastard son has asked for a fife of his own. You're not ready yet. He's now called the Reclusive. I want the, I mean, it's a bit of a mean name. He is, uh... Nonetheless, Sir Joffrey has seen more of the world than most people. I wouldn't call him much of a recluse. I'm surprised that, uh, Aegon wasn't able to do more. I mean, Aegon attacked literally while the Iron Friend was in war. And he still could make a huge dent of an impact here. Why is there a P here? House Peasbury's taken back control, and now they're in control of the King's Landing. Wow. Surprise, Monford gave that away, but didn't give up Bramford or uh, Faring Cross. Very interesting. Okay, Hoster Rothhart. Uh, my grandson will be thrifty. See, does he still have control of the Stepstones? He does, but he doesn't have control of this island, this island, or this island. So, he needs to solidify a bit of control in the Stepstones, for sure. And in the Stormlands, we are... How many troops are we at? We have only 2k troops? Did they all... Yeah, because they all died. They're very unfortunate for us. We need to definitely try and reconsolidate our forces. Okay, another unfortunate cut as we crashed once more. Things are looking pretty stable for us in the summer fields right now. 
Uh, hopefully we can possibly get a claim on Blackhaven, especially now that they are run by a child. <laughs> Uh, I really hope that these constant crashes are not going to be a problem, but they really have been a problem so far. I have a couple other uh, games that I want to do, a couple of B series alongside this A series, but I want this to be the main series. But if these crashes start becoming more frequent, that may have to change. Um, I'll have a look and see what's causing them, but this is not a good look for the long term of this save. It's sort of just a very unfortunate thing with um, CK2 Agot that, that sometimes it will just crash and you will literally have no idea why that it, it crashed. You'll just have to sort of guess. Oh my god, there's like 20 peasant revolts all happening at the Stepstones at once. However, I obviously want to keep this going, so we're going to keep we're going to keep trying. <laughs> Doesn't mean that some major events have happened and I've had to Roleplay them out and then be like, oh, and it crashed midway through the month, so I, I had to undo them. And then they didn't have it again, so... <laughs> uh, it's, it's been unfortunate. It has been unfortunate. Uh, but I love this save and I love the story, so we are going to do what we can to keep this one going. Uh, even if that means possibly running the game at a slower speed or making some changes with saves. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions about keeping the long term of this game going, please do let me know. Uh, and also, if you have suggestions about what you would love for the second series, also let me know. Uh, I have a few options. Uh, I'm considering doing a Crusader Kings free game, which is... I'll, I'll definitely do Crusader free, Kings free content, as well as Victoria 2 and Victoria 3. Those are, like, games that I want to play and I want to get up out on the channel. But CK2 is, is my favourite of, of those games. And uh, possibly EU4. But I am considering doing a... Uh, game set in this region here as a B series uh, using the colonizable Valyria mod, possibly playing as Hugh the Hammer. Uh, it seemed, I've seen this uh, posted a couple of times, and I think it's a very interesting save of Hugh the Hammer just restoring Valyria, as Hugh did always want to be a king. It was kind of always his uh, his goal to be king. And we're in the, the last days of Sir Giles. Uh, he'll be 60 soon enough. Uh, it'll be very interesting to see um, sort of if he's remembered after he dies. I don't think he'll get a bloodline or anything, unfortunately. I'd love for him to get a bloodline. Uh, or even just a title. Like, you know, Lord Giles the fucking epic. <laughs> but that's not really for me to decide. The game will grant him one if that's the case. The Iron Throne is not really sending... Oh, here, here we go. As I said, they're not really sending anyone, but here finally comes their army. Uh, the High Septon has finally sent one of the armies over to deal with this rebellion. Because obviously the king the king himself probably isn't doing anything. He's probably just learning how to read right now. <laughs> he's 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 probably... I think maybe one of the youngest kings they've had, at least in a, in a long while. Uh, the only other one I can... Oh my god, we're at War of the Red Watch. Goodness me. This is just going to keep happening, isn't it? <laughs> but um, it reminds me of the sort of situation um, of uh, after the Dance of the Dragons uh, and sort of what occurs there. Okay, but looks like my armies won't be needed. Renly got there before I was even needed. <laughs> but um, of, of the, the Boy King. Let's see. Hamiria Ladaris is only unthinkable and drank a glass of wildfire in hopes of turning herself into a dragon. She is adamant the wildfire is now coursing through her veins and has given the power of none before her and truly transformed her mind and body into that of a living, breathing dragon. How far will this... Yeah, she is insane. <laughs> I think that will probably just destroy her insides. More than anything. Uh, I'll allow... I'll allow your father to decide who you get married to. But we'll keep you on a martial education. Give him patronage. I am now proud. I think I would be proud after everything I've done. Definitely. There's a lot to be proud of. of uh, for um, this mighty um, life I've given myself. And once again, before we arrive, it's over. <laughs> No luck with Blackhaven, though. Very unfortunate. 
Yeah, I know, Joffrey. I'd love to get you, give you a title, but we just haven't been able to get a claim on Blackhaven. Do we have any armies in the Stepstones? Nope. So they're just going to siege down what's left of the Stepstones because the king is... Or the region is not doing anything about it. Oh, his regent is now Prince Quentin the Evil of Dawn. That is quite a regent to give yourself, lad. I think the High Septum was a better bloody pick. I would not trust uh, Quentin of Dawn. I mean, the Martels have managed to keep control at the very least. A daughter was born to Sir Aaron the Twitchy and Shirasteed named Hannah. I like the name Hannah. It's actually called the Twitchy, he is. Your Legis Council is discontent. Your Legis Council has been discontent for two months and will be until this point. That means if the new councillors were prohibited by law from. they might now do so. This could potentially destabilise the realm. Bloody hell. Well, what have you done, Renly? <laughs> And I'm not on the council, right? Because I got kicked off. I did, yeah. There's always something that can be done when expanding a castle. What's the difference? Oh, it's the time or the cost. And uh, the cost, definitely. Definitely what a cheaper cost. I've never had an issue with building time, unless it's like a colony. And, you know, we may eventually colonize the bull, so that could be relevant for us. But I don't have a thousand uh, coins on me. And that's what it will bloody cost. And I'm unlikely to have a thousand coins on me for quite a while. <laughs> oh dear. Well, hopefully that the, the realm doesn't implode from this um, discontent that the council's facing. But for all we know, it could. It definitely could. How's little boy Arlen doing? Still stressed? Yep. 30 years old and stressed out his bloody mind. <laughs> he now has two sons, though. He has Mike, uh, Michelle, who I'm teaching, and Garth. I don't know if it's... Because it would be Michael. It would be Michael, I'm fairly certain. Not Michelle. I think that it would be pronounced Michael. Hey, a bit of gold. Thank you. Well, under my tutelage, I hope Michael will become a... Oh my god, why does my son have interest now? Ugh. Goodness me. We're gonna placate them with some smooth talking. He's building himself into debt. A mad lad. Well, with us now 61. Not sure how much longer we will be around for. Excuse me, I've discovered a plan to kill Taj, son of Taj. Who the hell is Taj? <laughs> Taj, son of Taj. What a, uh... Sure, you can come join us, Lionel. Uh, no, I want to find people. Search all for Taj. Is this Taj? So that's Taj, and this must be Taj, son of Taj. This is indeed Taj, son of Taj. Who the hell is this guy? House Briarly. He's in the Stormlands. I, I, what? I, but, uh, I am so confused about who this guy is. They're from the Island of Love? Then why are they in... Okay. Okay, there you go. It loves doing dumb shit like this. Lord Boris of the Stormlands has declared Lord Boris's claims on the Stormlands War on Lord Paramount Willem of the Stormlands. So Renly passed away, and the game decided, nah, we're not going to tell you Renly passed away. Where did he die? He died a while ago, and the game never told me. He passed away like a full year ago. Oh, my. Well, Lord Paramount Willem of the Stormlands is now under attack by Lord Boris. Who is Boris? So Boris is the third son? 
right? He's 19, and Stefan is 26. So yeah, he is the... Okay, third, fourth, fifth... He's the fifth son of um, Renly. And he's making a claim for the throne here. Uh, it's, a it's a bold claim to go for. He has 15,000 men in Cahor. What? What is... I feel like I'm going a little insane. <laughs> like, what? What the hell is even going on? I guess I will defend the Stormlands from these supposedly foreign invaders by the bloody looks of it. Goodness me. Civil war in the Stormlands. Well, let's get our armies together, and... Looks like the Baratheons are going to war. And in fact, I think next episode, we'll see where this war progresses. And with Lord Giles in a weaker and weaker and an older and older state, I'm sure Lord Arlen is looking at the uh, titles of Summerfield and is becoming ready to inherit. Will that happen? We'll find out next episode. I have a look at everything that's going on and hopefully we'll find out why everything's crashing and I will see you guys in episode 4. Uh, if you have any suggestions about other series you would love to see alongside this series, please do leave me a comment and I'm excited to hear from you guys. I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.